In this video I will tell you everything we know so far about the upcoming NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 graphics card, based on Ada Lovelace microarchitecture. I feel that I have gathered enough leaked information to cover all the major points, including specifications, gaming performance at 4K and 1440p resolutions, reveal and launch dates, as well as price. Before that, a quick message from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Let's start with the specifications. NVIDIA decided to use a D104 GPU to power the RTX 4070 graphics card. It will be manufactured using the TSMC 4nm node, which is much better than Samsung 8nm node NVIDIA currently uses for RTX 3000 series GPUs. The full AD104 chip has 7680 CUDA cores and 48 MB of cache. This means that cache will see a huge improvement even compared to NVIDIA's current flagship RTX 3090 Ti that has just 6 MB of cache. However, I expect to see RTX 4070 use a cut-down version of AD104 GPU, because manufacturing a perfect chip in high volumes doesn't always work. So, we will likely see an RTX 4070 configured with close to 7000 CUDA cores, 12 GB of GDDR6 18 gigabit per second memory across a 192-bit bus, and TDP around 300 watts. With NVIDIA, the price is usually a well-guarded secret up until the product reveal day. We can only make an educated guess that RTX 4070 MSRP will be between $550 and $650, as prices are expected to rise across the whole chip industry. According to the latest leaks, RTX 4070 may be revealed along with RTX 4090 and 4080 as early as middle of July. However, it will not be available to buy until October, right on time for the holiday season. While 4090 is rumored to be available in August and 4080 in September. Now let's talk about the gaming performance. I prepared 4K as well as 1440p performance charts. But before I show them to you, I want to make one thing very clear. All the RTX 4000 series data is a very rough estimation based on the leaks. These charts are designed to give you a general idea of how the upcoming graphics cards will stack up against the current generation. I expect RTX 4070 to perform almost as well as RTX 3090. That should make it a good solution for 4K gaming on a budget. Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the most difficult games to run, so it may be a good representation of what the performance will be like when truly next-gen games will start launching later this year. RTX 4070 should manage a 51 FPS average on high-quality preset. Rainbow Six Siege represents competitive shooters on this list. With 206 FPS average on Ultra Preset, it will be enough to use a 4K 144Hz monitor to the maximum of its capabilities. Borderlands 3 is a fairly balanced example of how an average AAA game performs. 4K, Ultra Preset, 68 FPS. Expect to see around 58 FPS in Assassin's Creed Valhalla using the ultra high quality preset. In the shadow of the Tomb Raider, RTX 4070 comes close to 100 FPS average on the highest quality. A smooth gaming experience in Horizon Zero Dawn at 4K on ultimate quality is guaranteed with an 88 FPS average. Death Stranding goes even further with 120 FPS on very high preset. Watch Dogs Legion should get 60 FPS average on ultra quality. Moving on to 1440p. I am less sure about how the RTX 4000 series graphics cards will behave at this resolution, but here is what I think it will look like if Nvidia did not address inferior 1440p performance compared to AMD RX 6000 series graphics cards. RTX 4070 may end up performing worse than RX 6900 XT on average. 
Still, looking at the performance in Cyberpunk 2077 on high quality at 94 FPS, it will be a good graphics card to use with a 1440p monitor. For competitive gaming, you can even go with a 240Hz or higher monitor, because you will be seeing around 379fps average in Rainbow Six Siege. Borderlands 3 will run smooth at well above 100fps. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is not kind to Nvidia graphics cards. Just over 80fps average at 1440p on ultra high. But there will always be an odd game that performs like this. It goes both ways. 4070 should get close to 100 FPS in Watch Dogs Legion on Ultra Preset. It will be a treat to play Death Stranding at 186 FPS average at 1440p resolution. Horizon Zero Dawn is another game that will provide a smooth experience with over 140 FPS. And the last but not least, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 166 FPS using the highest quality preset. I think that RTX 4070 could become a good entry point for those looking to move to a 4K monitor but don't want to part with close to or even over $1000 to get a graphics card that can run games at such a high resolution. So, a 4070 should be a good choice for playing any current game at 4K. As for the new games that will come with higher GPU requirements next year and beyond, I expect DLSS to solve this problem. Even the current DLSS 2.3 is very good in terms of image quality. Additionally, DLSS 3.0 is in the works and will bring us even closer to running our games with DLSS enabled by default. Like this video if it was helpful and subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.